Yeah. The rewards of self-belief have turned me into an addict. Yeah. Girls cheating, being hoes has turned me into a savage. Before What's I knew going on, guys? Agapok here with another video for you today. And today we're going to be playing the last part of the Half Past Fate series. Holy shit. It's been a long time coming. It's been over a month since I started this game. And man, I am just so excited to finally get it done. And, you know, finally, you know, reach the conclusion to the story. I'm just... I'm overall just so happy to have gone through this experience and uh, happy to have uh, released all the videos. The uh, first couple of videos were kind of shit with the audio settings and all, but fixed that along the way. And now everything's looking a lot better. And yeah, hopefully you guys like the series. But today I have a very special announcement to coincide with the ending of the series. Today I'm starting a giveaway. So if you go ahead and click the link in the description below, it will take you to a tweet in which I tweet out the link to the giveaway where you could win a $20 eShop gift card where you can spend it to you uh, to buy this game, to buy another game you got your eyes on or one of the many games that are on sale this summer. But yeah, guys, the giveaway will end next week from when this video releases. So this video is releasing on the 8th of July. So ending on the 15th of July you have a chance to enter to win and get daily entries so you can continue to rack up those chances of you winning the giveaway and I'm very excited to finally have this out there and yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode and enjoy the finale with me but without further ado let's get right into the video <laughs> now ooh, what's gonna happen now What's going on in this bar? Okay, so Milo's right there. Mara's right there. There's an old man. That kid used to be a freaking... Okay, the, the Santa bartender's right there. Uh, the, the, the guy for the team. The, the, everybody's here. Somehow, I managed to mess up everything. I start off the day by spilling tea all over him at Fellini Cafe. Then I completely butchered the pitch in front of everyone. And, of course, the best thing to do after all that is lose my temper and splash wine all over his face at the restaurant. Perhaps he deserved the wine part, just a little. More importantly though, my company, uh, how am I supposed to tell everyone tomorrow? He's really not a bad guy, I don't even know why he, I don't even know why he just infuriates me so much. What time is it? Half past eight. God damn it, B. <laughs> I just noticed freaking B and Milo met each other eight and a half years ago. Half past eight. Guess I should finish my drink and. Guys, I really don't think this is the right place for me. Come on, man. You've had a rough day. You need to relax a little. I'll buy you a drink. I'm okay. You know I don't drink, though. <laughs> you know I don't drink. Thanks though. Dude, if today's not a day to start drinking, I don't know what is. Don't peer pressure, bro. <laughs> don't peer pressure. Kate, if he doesn't want to drink, then don't make him drink. Rendon, you can always chat up people here. Have fun, dance a little, or something. Yeah, man, don't worry about the date. It happens. There are plenty more fisher women in the boats, or something. No, man, it's not even that. It's the... Oh, the waiter spilling wine all over you? Yeah, the waiter. Oh, well, hope you didn't tip them. I'm going to grab us some drinks, and then sh You sure you don't want anything? Yeah, I'm good. The usual white Russian for you, Anna? Yep, thanks. White Russian, goddamn. Alright, I'll be right back. Nice. Yo, the guy- Yo, everybody's here, damn. Everybody chilling. Holland, the gamer girl, and uh, the gamer girl, and her boyfriend, the hipster fucking kids of all people, and the old couple, the freaking grandpa. Dude, this is really an opus of everything that's been happening in the story. I fucking love it. Yo, Andy's here, bro. Here, Brendan. I know things haven't really been going your way, but I'm sure everything will be fine in the end. Yeah, I hope so. 
Thanks, Anna. Didn't you say you're meeting your friend here? Yeah, I am. He should be here already. There he is. Oh, there he is. Well, what are you waiting for? Go say hi. You'll be okay, right? Yeah, I'm fine. Go say hi to your friend before he leaves. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Of course he'd show up here. Of all the bars in the city, just my luck. I should just... I suppose I should go apologize or something. If I'm going to ruin his day, I might as well ruin it all the way. <laughs> God damn it. A lot of familiar faces here tonight. Looks like the video game company next to our office, Serenity Forge, is having some kind of celebration. Nice. My is one of Jody's roommates, and that's Bia. I've met her many times now, but I don't think she remembers me. What's weird is that she was just at Spark a couple hours ago with Rendon. I guess that date didn't go anywhere. Hello Milo, haven't seen you since the last time I was over to visit Jody. How have you been? I've been great. It's good to see you again, Mara. Are you, you've met Bia before, right? Yep, we met at the film festival a few years back, and also your housewarming party. Oh yeah. You had longer, uh, longer hair back then. Good to see you again. They're using a different photo of Bia this time. I'm not sure why. Also, we literally just saw each other at the restaurant. But I'm not going to bring that up because that would be way too awkward. So how have you... Aren't you the girl who was on a date with Renan earlier? Do you not like listen to your own fucking thoughts? <laughs> Like, you just bring up every reason why you should not bring something up and proceed to bring it up. Curses, Mara. Why do you not know when to shut up? Uh, yeah, I was actually... Were you there too? Yeah, kind of. You should have said hi. Anyway, I'm glad you guys finally got together. Jolie has told me so much about you too. Oh, shucks, Mara. You're such a sweetie, Mara. I'll get, you out, of, I'll get it out of your hair. Hope you're enjoying your evening. Thanks, Mara. You too. I don't want to bother them on their date. But what about bothering these two on their date? Yo, look at, yo, <laughs> look at Jerry, man. He's he like right there, hey. <laughs> Congrats, not Rendon. Looks like your stunt worked. Hey, hey Mara, you two know each other? Yeah, <laughs> kind of a long story. I've got time. Okay, so I need to start from the beginning. You know how I accidentally smudged your number right after you gave it to me? I should leave them be. It's called a Long Island Iced Tea. You should try it. If you don't like it, I'll try to finish it for you. Okay. I don't want to bother them. It looks like they, this might be their first date. Alright, no problem. Yo, is this... Yo, this is Oscar and his husband, right? His partner? It's Todd. I thought he was sick. What's he doing out here? Yo, yeah, this is... This is... Yo, wait, Todd? Is uh is with Oscar? Yo, that's dope. Todd, what are you doing uh, out here? I thought you were sick. Yeah, but Oscar wanted to come to some kind of video game developer party thing tonight, so here I am. Come to think of it, you never met my husband, Oscar, have you? I don't believe so. Pleasure in meeting you, Oscar. The pleasure is all mine. So how did the pitch go? Jay told me you had some kind of secret mission tonight. It didn't work. That's too bad. Yeah. It's alright, Mara. I'm sure everything will turn out fine. As long as we keep trying, there's always hope. I'm glad you think so, Todd. Don't think about work, Mara. We're out of war. Let loose. All right, let loose. That's Cam. He used to work at Serenity Forge. I heard he single-handedly created many of uh, many very uh, famous indie games. Nice. What about this guy? Who are you? That's Alex, the new guy at Serenity Forge. He used to be a chemical engineer, but I guess he wanted to do something more fun instead. That's cool. Here's to know these people at Serenity Forge. That's Christina, a pixel artist at Serenity Forge. Looks like she's out enjoying the night with her husband. They're talking about heel turns and kayfabe. It's technical software development jargon, I'm sure. Ah, no. Uh, heel turns and kayfabe, that's more related to... Well, I mean, from what I know, it's more related to wrestling. I can't. I believe this is Z and his wife Maddie. Z is the executive uh, producer at Serenity Forge. The 
game development studio next to our office. I hear that they're expecting a baby girl in April. Ah, uh -huh. wait. Yo, oh, that's dope. <laughs> Congratulations to them. That's Kevin, one of the lead programmers at Serenity Forge. Sounds like he's debating uh, with another programmer. He keeps mentioning something about space pirates. Space knights, nice. Yo, if they make space knights, I'm down, bro. That's Max, Serenity Forge uh, composer. I hear his in his spare time, he likes to dabble in rocket science. Nice. Here's someone. Here's someone who used to uh, work at Serenity Forge. Brock, I think. Sounds like he was much better off after he left. Hmm. That's Kevin and his partner Justin. Kevin is in the mark is the marketing and publishing director at Serenity Forge. Sounds like they're trying to decide uh, what to cook together this upcoming weekend. Alright, alright, alright. Can I go in between? Yo, y'all moved from the freaking thing over here. Alright, what about you? He's one of the Aris investors, Cade. We just met this morning, but he recognized me. Shows how much of an impression I made. Gotta watch out in here. I almost got hit in the head with a dart. Hey, don't I know you? Yeah. Mara from Nanovo? Oh yeah, that's right. That was a wild pitch today. Sure was. Anyway, thanks again for hosting us. Our board should be making a decision pretty soon. You should hear from us in a few weeks or so. Great, thanks. Great pitch today, thanks. How about you, old man? What can I talk? I can't talk to you, old man. Okay. Hope this bartender is having a better night than I am. He keeps telling the same updog joke to all the customers. I wonder what updog is. <laughs> What's up, dog? Hey. What can I get you? Oh, I'd have to think about it some more, for sure. All right. When I figure it out, I'll talk to you. Is he? I think he's watching Bia and Milo. What are you? You know, I swear the guy over there is the director of You Are What You Eat. If he's eating here, that must mean the food here is really good. What? You mean Milo? So that is him. Yeah, that's him. I love that documentary. It's my favorite film of all time. It's actually what inspired me to learn about foods and start getting into shape. I wouldn't be here today without him. Maybe you should go say hi. I bet he'd appreciate that. No way, he's not going to want someone like me bothering him. I'm just grateful to be in his presence. Okay then, suit yourself. Alright. Front room it is. Yo, yo. Yo, it's, in, yo, it's Lars, right? Yo, everybody's here. Damn, bro. It's Jade and her sister, who's some kind of salesperson. Jade, what are you doing here? Don't you remember? I promised Samuel that I'd come hang out with him and his friends. Also, my sister uh, said she needed help with her new product again. Would you like to try a sample? No, thank you. Come on, sis, don't embarrass me in front of my boss. So did the plan work out? No, and I'm not really in the mood to talk about it right now. Dang, well, cheer up, Mar. We'll figure something out. Thanks, Jade. It's nice to see you out and about for once, Mar. Instead of cooped up in the office, you should come with us to the Regal Seagull after work more often. That does sound nice. I'll think about it. You sure you don't want to try a sample? I'm sure. Thanks. I don't know how anyone could focus on the game of chess in such a noisy environment. I don't think people sitting here are even playing. Probably not. That's Kirti and her partner David. Kirti is the director of development at Serenity Forge. I hear they just got engaged. They look really happy right now. Congratulations. That's Latonia, Lat uh, Lat artist and animator at Serenity Forge. She can be pretty quiet, but she has a great sense of fashion. I'd imagine. She designed all these characters. Yo, is this Matt? That's Alex, lead animator and designer at Sunnery Forge. Uh, last time I saw him, he had a man bun. Guess he finally got rid of it. <laughs> oh, that's Andy's friend Matt. It's a shame him and Bia didn't work out. Still a great guy though. Yeah, sucks. Great, Samuel's wearing his <laughs> giant wizard uh, boy hat again. He loves wizard boards. What's good, Samuel? Samuel, I haven't seen you all day. You stepped out of the office uh, and you were gone the rest of the day. I told you last week again, this morning, Mara, I had to leave early because of my friends uh, my friends in town. When Then we decided to come hang out with our friends from Serenity Forge. I see. I must have missed that. That's understandable. You were pretty flustered this morning. Chai was barking up a storm because you locked your uh, bone in your office. Oh, sorry about that. It's okay. 
I managed to get a spare key from Lars before the presentation started, so she wasn't barking the whole time. How was the pitch? Jay told me it didn't go so well, but you had a backup plan? Well, the backup plan failed too. Bummer. Yeah, I, I don't really want to talk about it right now. Okay. Dart zone, watch out. Mara? <laughs> what are you doing here? What do you mean? We come to the Regal Signal all the time. We invited you before, but you always said you were busy with work, so we figured you just didn't want to come. Well, no, it's because I usually am busy with work. So, you're not busy tonight? No, I'm still busy, just not with work. Well, not directly related to work. <laughs> Watch out, Dark Zone. Alright. Alright, so I gotta go around, huh? That's Alicia with her fiancé, Ryan. Alicia is a 2D artist at Serenity Forge. I thought she recently moved away. I guess they must be in town to celebrate with the team. Good old Lars. People don't give him enough credit. He's such a hard worker. I wonder if he still does film stuff outside of work. Whoa, Mara. You're here too? That's so weird. <laughs> Chai barks. Why are you here with Chai? The bar doesn't allow dogs inside and Samuel wanted to hang out with uh, his buddies. So I'm dog sitting for him out here. Chai's been a, re a real good girl. <laughs> Aren't you Chai? <laughs> yes, you are a good girl. Hey. Oh, right. Where are my manners? Taylor, this is Mara, Jolie's sister. She's my boss at the tech company I'm working at right now. Hey there, I think I saw you at the film house party once? Yeah, I'm surprised you remember me. I haven't been to one of those in ages. Yeah, we haven't had one in ages. We're going to have one tonight. I made a giant pot of chili and everything. Yeah, but Mara, you won't believe this. Milo ended up ditching us and went out with Bia. Our Milo. With our Bia. What? Am I right? And of course, like good friends we are, we had to follow them and, uh, well, we had to make sure they're safe, you know? It's dark out and we wouldn't want them getting kidnapped or something. Right, exactly. Yep, we're good friends. Nope, y'all are into the cheese man, bro. <laughs> You're right in there with the cheese man. Hey. It was good, Jody. The first time I met Charlotte, I wasn't really sure if she was the best for Jody. But over the past few years, they've really been amazing together. I'm so glad Jody was able to find somebody like Charlotte. Ah, that's nice. Hey sis, didn't think we'd run into you here. Are you alright? You look a little down. I'm alright, it's just been a long day. Ah, uh, what happened? Don't worry about it, Jody. It's fine. Yo, Mara, I love your dress. <laughs> your dress, Mara. Yeah, I love it. So much. Are those pockets? Indeed. Oh, come on, Charlie Char. You've only had one drink, but pockets. <laughs> I admit, it is pretty cool. You two enjoy your day. <laughs> I have some unfinished business to attend to. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Love you, sis. I'll leave you two alone. Kiera, Sammy, and two Jacobs. I think they're, they were, were interns at Serenity Forge. Nice. No, I shouldn't run from this. <sighs> Let me talk to the other people down there. I want to talk to them. Okay, no. Looks like a father and son enjoying a nice dinner. Looks like a lovely old couple spending some time with their grandson. I mean, some time. It's so sweet that kids are spending time with elders. Kind of. <laughs> this is Rajan. He runs the game company way down deep. They specialize in games about love and life. Looks like he's in town to hang out with Serenity Forge folks. He said something about wanting to go bowling. Alright. And it's Andy, the lead programmer and techno producer at Serenity Forge. Sounds like they're planning out details of a new action adventure game. Nice. Sounds like Space Knights. That's Abby, an artist from Serenity Forge. The only thing she loves more than art is nature. Hmm. It's DM, one of the directors at Serenity Forge. He's very much a talented designer, but I recall hearing something about him being banned from using triangles. Okay. That's Eric, a lead programmer at Serenity Forge. I hear he's great, he's great at playing soccer with cars. Yo, great at Rocket League. Nice. I can't believe how many times we've bumped into each other today. Hey. Oh. Hey. I want to just... I want you to know I'm sorry. What? I'm so sorry about earlier. I said some stupid stuff that I didn't mean and I... No, I mean, could you speak up? I can't hear you over all this noise. Oh, let's step outside. Okay. Nice, finally downstairs. 
There we go. Fresh air. I've never been a fan of these types of uh, establishments. You mean bars? Yeah, not my thing. Sorry, I cut you off earlier. What were you saying? I wanted to let you know that I'm sorry, too. It's been a tough day for both of us. It must have been exhausting for you to change into a new suit I spilled every time I spilled something onto you. You kidding me? I got used to it by noon. <laughs> nice weather today. You want to walk around for a bit? Sure. Give me away from this loud music. The stars are beautiful tonight. Yeah, they are. Do you come here often? No, I don't really go to bars. I don't drink. Makes sense. Hey, the gardener and girl. You know how I was at the restaurant earlier for my date? Uh, yeah. I think I just saw her with somebody else. So much for the dating app. <laughs> Do you go on a lot of dates? I guess I meet a lot of people. I'm just bad at dating when it counts. I'm actually really good at helping other people with their romantic troubles. I see. Well, you want to take a stab at mine? Oh, there's someone uh, you're having issues with? Yeah, lots of issues. Alright, lay it on me. What's the guy like? Is he hot? Well, he's definitely cute, but he's kind of a jerk. Ouch. And? He's got an amazing sense of fashion, which is a plus. Oh, I can totally dig that. Lastly, it really doesn't help that I spilled at least three beverages on him today, so I guess his diversified wardrobe probably just shrank a bit. This guy sounds suspiciously like me. You said you were good with other people's romantic troubles, so what do I do? You're a great guy, Rendon. You just ticked me off so much. My work means so much to me, and I can't compartmentalize my life like that. I thought I had finally found the right business partner to bring Nanoball to market. And I thought I had finally found somebody who really understood my vision, someone who had my back. I'm so sorry, Mara. Really, I don't know what to say. Truth be told, I'm still totally with you on Nanoball, but ultimately I'm, uh, ultimately, I'm not the one who makes these choices. Yeah, I know. The board of directors, mysterious men in suits, sitting around at a large table behind closed door, blah blah. I've been pitching long enough to know how it works. It's really not that bad. Our board at Oris has great intentions. They're just always under a lot of pressure. I'm sure they have their reasons. And honestly, with your passion and your value-driven team, I have no doubt you'll find the right investment partner. Heck, you need to find the right investment partner. Our world depends on it. You really mean that? Of course. Not of all has such a great cause. It's exactly the type of new technology that our world needs right now. Thanks, Rendon. That means a lot to me. No problem. Anyway, enough of this downer. This isn't even close to being the first time I've faced rejection. There are tons of investors in the world. I'm going to keep pitching until I literally, literally every human being in the world says no. Until then, I'm not going to stop. That's the spirit. What a weird day, right? So many random coincidences. <sighs> if you can hit me with the guitar. Hey, Earth Warrior. Earth Warrior. Oh, hello again. What a small world. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt your date. Just wanted to give you a shout out. Oh, it's not a date. We're just colleagues. Right on, right on. Well, have a good evening. You know that, man? Yeah, I met him this morning at the same coffee shop where, you know. Yeah. You know, I actually really enjoyed spending time with you today. You did? Yeah, I mean, up until you dumped wine on my favorite bow tie. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm really sorry about that. Did your blind date ever call you or anything since they didn't show up? Uh, no. Oh, that's too bad. I honestly can't believe someone like you could get stood up. What do you mean? I mean, you're intelligent, driven, ambitious, kind-hearted, and you're not bad looking. Not bad looking. That's not what I meant. What I meant was, you're beautiful. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I have a confession. My date never showed up because there wasn't a date. What do you mean? I made the whole. I made up the whole story. I wasn't there on the blind date. but of my employees overheard you and Kay talk about your date on the way out. I figured that if I played it right, I could have maybe 
I could have maybe been at the right place at the right time. Maybe gotten more face time with you guys before you made your decision on none of all because well we all know how well the demo went. Oh wow, really? That's actually really amazing. You're not mad? No, why would I be? It's fantastic how much you care about your company to go through all that just to get a better stab at it. That's what I love about you. Oh, thanks. It's not like it really made a difference in the end. Yeah, I guess not. So, I know I can't change our board's decision. But, here, I think I know some other people who might be interested in funding Nanoball. You can tell them Rindon Shaw recommended you. Well, thank you. I really appreciate it. What the? Yo, my boy just got his freaking phone joint. That's strange. What would the seagull do with a phone? <laughs> Who cares? It took my phone. It's all my contacts and stuff. No. Oh, no. How are we going to get that cell phone? Can I bait it or capture it somehow? Oh, what the hell? History buff. Yo, everybody here, bro. Right on the beach. Some people are so irresponsible. Let's re really recycle this. Recycle. Let's go. What about you? He's looking out at the ocean. How's your evening going? Great. I love coming here just to listen to waves, soothes your soul, you know? It's rather soothing, now that you mention it. Good evening. Right back at you. We look really happy together. What's your secret? For us, it's about having a shared hobby. We love biking together. We took off work to the uh, work today to ride all around the city. It was wonderful. And then we came here to the pier to watch the sunset and enjoy waterfront. It's so romantic. I wish we could do this every day. Definitely. If you want our secret, that's it. Being able to share a passion for someone's for something goes a long way. And there's nothing quite like a good bike ride. Well, thanks for the advice. I think I'll leave you two alone now. No worries. Thanks for saying hi. She looks really interested in whatever he's talking about. Goals like the other challenge reforms are able to drink salt water. Really? But how do they prevent hypernatremia? Their school sub, sub uh, super. Hmm. No, I'm here. Nice. Why was this left outside? People need to stop leaving these things in random places. I don't think anybody's home. Dang. You should work on a bird just as well as a fish, right? Uh, wait, where's the recycle? Where's the recycle? Where's the recycle? Where's the recycle? Nice. Look at Mara's truck. God damn. Here he goes. Well, you baited it to leave. Shoot, we were so close. Well, at least it still has the phone. Yeah, instead of it dropping. I'm impressed with its grip, to be honest. We could try to bait it back to shore, but if that doesn't work, I'm all out of ideas. I think it landed on buoy out there. I'm going to go get a better look at it. Why don't you meet me up at the dock? How do we bait it? How do we bait it? How do we bait it? Bait it? Bait it? It's not a good thing to lose. We need to work fast. He hasn't dropped the phone yet. I should do a really good effect. Well, I don't know. I heard your brilliant plan. Never mind. You're right. Carry on. Yep. Mm, let's, let's, let's. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. Do you have food? Did you need some tomorrow? Ask about our fries. Can I borrow your curry fries? Right. First off, your chips, not fries. Okay. Second, what do you mean borrow? I want to take your chips and use them as a bait for a seagull. 
Is that a euphemism for something? You know perfectly well I never use euphemisms. If I say I need to bait the seagull, I mean every word. Well, I didn't buy these chips, so I'll leave it up to... Of course you can have them. What? No, shark. Aren't you think You aren't thinking straight. Listen, I'd order my own fries or chips or, or whatever if I could. But it's only a matter of time before that seagull drops Rendon's phone. Sorry, back up. Who's Rendon? Why does the seagull have his phone? Only a matter of time, Jody. Look, if I order you two batch of new fries, can I have yours? Fine. But they're called chips. Curry chips. I got your stupid chip order in. Okay. Thanks, sis. Here's the rest of ours. Alright. By the way, you know that fries and chips are the same thing, right? No, they're not. Chips are like fries, but thick. Thick. <laughs> thick fries. <laughs> God damn it. Charlotte and I are on the same level. Yeah, thick with at least three C's. What about two Q's? Anyway, you can have our chips. Good luck with... What were you doing again? Baiting a seagull to try and get my friend's phone from its beak? The seagull has a phone? Well, good luck with that, Mara. Charlotte, Jesus Christ, where are you? <laughs> Charlotte's lightweight. I know many friends that are lightweights. Alright, here goes. Ah, oh, what can't birds share? That's it. We're going to have to go out there. We're going to need a boat. Maybe we should talk to some of the locals. I think I saw a boat at the dock. I'll go check it out. Alright, gotta talk to the locals. No, oh, Rinden. Rinden, stop walking so fast. Stop walking so fast. Stop walk- Rinden! Rinden, Rinden, Rinden. Come on. I'm in heels. <laughs> Come on. Well, I found this boat. I don't know who it belongs to. Maybe we could borrow it? Tomorrow. Are you suggesting a boat? I thought this was urgent. No, I thought the same thing. I already checked. It needs a key. <laughs> I'm just flattered you would even consider stealing a boat from me. You better find the one I'm done. <laughs> well, I don't know where that one is. I just don't. Yes, Dave. I've traveled highways and byways. I've walked up to the peak of mountains and down into foggy valleys. I've been over bridges and through caverns to get here. Dave, I've climbed sheer cliff faces and trekked across parched deserts. I've slogged through swamps and braved the bite of frozen tundras. At long last, I've arrived. Thank you, Dave. You've been there for me every step of the way. Dave? Dave? Oh, there you are. The con connection must have dropped. I'll start over. What about you? It's a bit of a long shot, but do you know, happen to know who owns the boat out by the pier? You mean that little dinghy out there? Ha! <laughs> As a matter of fact, I do. If you have a spot of luck, you might find the owner playing guitar somewhere near the establishment. He's a bit of a wanderer. But try not to bring too much attention to him, alright? I think he fancies himself a man who doesn't need possessions. He wouldn't want people knowing he has a boat. Name, eyes, hair. Well, he refuses names or labels. He hides his eyes from other eyes, making him truly impossible to know his very nature. And he's got reddish brown hair. Anything else? All I know is he plays guitar. I listen. Has brown hair. Sorry. Too much. All right. Excuse me. I was wondering if you live in the air. Why? This is is this a shakedown? <laughs> I'm just kidding. My dude, I could tell you and your Earth Warrior partner on cops. Do I live here? I like to think myself as a transient. Right. Well, I was just asking around about. Would you happen to know the owner of the dock by the boat? In a way, I know him better than myself, but at the same time, he is a total stranger. So the jig is up, huh? You know my dirty little secret? Dirty little secret. Yes, my friend and I were wondering if we could borrow the boat. I don't see why not. It's always good to see people looking for fun activities instead of chasing material things. <laughs> yeah, chasing material things. Here you go. Oh, thank you so much. No problem. What's the boat in the grand scheme of life anyway? I hope you find what you're looking for. I found the owner of the boat. He said we could borrow it, and he even gave me the key. Really? Who's the owner? 
You know that's why the guy's sitting up on the pier? No kidding, I never would have guessed that. Uh, now that we have the key, let's go get your phone. A, I, I, Captain. A, A, Captain. A. Yo, <laughs> yo, they hopped down there, bro. This is so exciting. You got the key, right? Let's <laughs> get this puppy started. Wait, the key isn't doing anything. What? Are you turning the right way? Of course I'm turning it the right way. The most have a bad alternator. If we could get a current on the engine, we could bypass it. Of course, but the voltage isn't... Is, is the voltage going to be too much? What if the engine blows up? Well, then you'll need much more than a new suit. Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. Oh, it didn't explode. Take a seat, I'll drive. Ah, oh, I wish I was gonna, I thought I was gonna control it. <laughs> we made it. Well, wow, good thing, Mara. I gotta stop skipping through these things, damn it. Alright. It was nothing. We still have to get your phone back. Be careful. Try. Get Yes. This is surreal. I can't believe this all worked. Neither can I. It's broken. What? It's cracked and it won't turn on. I suppose it was only a matter of time before it was fracture. I'm truly sorry, but then all of this effort for nothing. I mean, I wouldn't say it was all for nothing. True, I'm going to have to buy a new phone. And I'm going to have to put all of my contacts manually because my phone was too old to have any sort of cloud storage. That's going to be a huge pain. Why did you have a flip phone? Why? But the coolest thing is that I got to see Nanoval in action. The way it was meant to be seen. This is really some revolutionary tech. I think there's a lot more potential here than meets the eye. I'm definitely going to talk to the board of directors again. Also, everyone knows that startups are more about the people than the product. And more importantly, I got to see you in action. And uh, you were really cool. Thank you, Rinden. I kiss and go. <laughs> Everybody's on the dock. Goddamn. So, does the phone work? Yeah. Your audience demands to know. Wait, are you guys together? Looks like you got a lot more out of that day tonight than you thought. Wow, boss. Way to finally achieve <laughs> that work-life balance. Mara, is that your boyfriend? You never even introduced me. You guys are adorable together. I'm so happy for you guys. Who are they again? God damn it, Milo. <laughs> this is this is the most I've literally never been so touched in my life. Oh, I'm gonna tear up. I'm gonna Nah nah Lars, don't cry. The bigger is sobbing. <laughs> Do you wanna go somewhere more quiet? I'd love to, but shouldn't we return the boat first? I don't see why we couldn't do a little bit more of joy riding. Let's go. It stalled. Did it stall or? Oh no. Oh shit. Yeah, that's actually pretty nice. Wow. Look at that view. Yeah. Could you have imagined when we bumped into each other this morning, we would end up here together? That was just this morning. It feels like a lifetime ago, for real. It feels like a month ago. Life's funny that way, isn't it? When you least expect it, someone amazing just bumps into you. The next thing you know, you're out in the open waters at night in a stolen boat. Borrowed boat. The only thing I was thinking of this morning was work. I wouldn't have expected this. Yeah, me too. Kiss, damn it. <laughs> While it's getting late, we should probably head back soon. It's only half past eight. Actually, I'm pretty sure it's later than. <whistles> On second thought, maybe we could stay out a little longer. Wow. <laughs> Are you going to roll credits on me? Are you going to roll credits on me? Oh, yeah, I swear to God. You're going to roll credits on me! <laughs> oh, 
Oh man, holy sh Rajan Savjani, concept director. Oh, I'm gonna let this run. City Park eight and a half years ago. Serenity Forge. Let's go, dude. Yeah, executive producer, negative and narrative director. Sunset Theater four years ago. So many of Bia's things were so long ago. Chrissy Kodos, director of development, lead designer, art director. Kevin Adams, lead programmer, feels designer. Feels designer, <laughs> additional writing. Reunion. Christina Skiles. Character artist, animator, narrative designer. Samuel Herb, technical artist, additional writing. Alex Ang, 3D, 3D animator, narrative designer. The Tea Festival, eight days ago. Tanya White, a narrative designer, animator. Yo, guys, it's been a long time coming. Thank you so much. Holy shit, this thing. So amazing, just so amazing. Outside Gamer Forge, seven days ago. Man. Kevin Zhang, Andy Schmidt, Andrew Wilson, Cameron Riach. Little Tokyo yesterday. Whether your story starts just o just over a week ago or over eight years ago or even just today, you're gonna find somebody, you know? Oh man, I'm tearing up. <laughs> Fellini Cafe 12 hours ago. I never noticed that, you know? I never noticed how all of these stories started at different times and like culminated all at once you know animated quality assurance Sam Fiasic Jacob Bloom outside Nanavolt 10 hours ago Lauren Hickerson Will Holby, Frig Yes, Rox, Lauren, Will, Jenna, Andy. That Spark two hours ago. Testers, Kira, Linder, Maddie, Yang. Man. Milo's house two hours ago. Special thanks to Greg Miller, Casper Gray, Tina, Nick, Jenny, Kelly, Chris. David, Angela, Ryan, Alex, Indie Mega Booth, Media Indie Exchange, The Pier, man. <sighs> Amazing, really, truly. We had proposed only a couple of weeks after they started dating, and Milo immediately accepted. Two years after their real first date, Bia finally moved in with Milo at the house after Lars moved out due to a work promotion. From time to time, Jody would still complain about Milo's boxes in the attic. <laughs> We're getting updates! Ah. <laughs> As they spent time together, Anna discovered a newfound talent and started outmatching Jaren in his favorite games. Jaren developed new interests in not only tea, but also books, music, and even business. With Oscar's help, Jaren started his own Japanese-styled arcade in Little Tokyo. Four years later, Jaren and Anna still fight over who gets to be player one every time they pick up a new game at Gamer Forge. Within seconds of getting back to the pier, Rin and Nasmara out on the day he, had, he suggested they meet up at Saturday at 8.30 a.m. at Fellini Cafe. They would end up seeing each other pretty much every day after that. Rin and Toon left ours too. Help pitch another proposal to various investors around the country. Mara and Rinden would celebrate each successful investment with green tea at Fellini Cafe. The end. God damn it, man. <laughs> God, that's so amazing. <laughs> man.
this episode is going to take a longer time than all of the episodes as you could probably tell from the video length and just you know watching everything but man holy shit guys that was an amazing experience uh literally all brink of tears here brink of tears i feel like almost crying almost you know <laughs> hopefully you guys enjoyed the video hopefully you guys enjoyed the series i think i might be coming back with maybe one or two more videos just for like achievement hunting because this game does have achievements and uh what's it called and probably for a, a review of the game but spoiler alert you know i i fucking love the game <laughs> But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this, the episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the series. And uh, yeah, remember to click the link in the description and enter the giveaway for a $20 eShop gift card. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys can pick up the game. Uh, this game, whichever game you're looking forward to playing uh, with the $20 eShop gift card. It's going to be uh, one give, uh, one winner. And uh, I'm going to be drawing the winner on... Uh, and I'm going to be drawing the winner on July 15th. Uh, one week after this video comes out and uh, I'll be announcing it over on my Twitter so be sure to follow me there and uh, keep up to date with everything going on there but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed again <laughs> hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode this series thank you so much for everybody who followed the series with me it's been a wild ride and I fucking love it and yeah I'll catch you guys in the next one till next time I'll see you later <laughs>